At one point, it seemed like Idol would not be able to survive their scandal. Over time, the girls showed how strong they actually are and proved that not even a huge scandal can bring them down. This is the story of how Idol broke the standard. February of 2021 can be dubbed as one of the worst months in K-pop history. Idols were being accused of horrible things left and right, and it seemed like every single day there was a new different scandal. A lot of people's names were tainted during that month, and while most of them were able to get back on their feet, some weren't so lucky. Idol are somehow in the middle. They literally raised themselves from the ashes like a phoenix, although in the beginning, it seemed like this could be their end. The first accusation about Su Jin came out on February 20th, and she was accused by someone called A. That person claimed that their younger sibling and the alleged victim attended the same middle school as Su Jin. Su Jin was suddenly facing accusations of initiating fights between two other people and being verbally mean to A's sibling. Allegedly, Su Jin also stole uniforms of other people or would go around and steal their money. On top of that, Su Jin's supposedly hung out with older guys who rode motorcycles, and she was often seen drinking and smoking. It was a hard time both for the group and their fans. The situation got only worse when the actress Sol Shine decided to come forward and claim that she was also a victim of Su Jin's behavior in middle school. The actress wrote quite a cryptic post on her Instagram story, and people quickly assumed that she was talking about Su Jin since they previously went to school together. Shine wrote, none of your excuse on her Instagram story, and people believed that she was confronting Su Jin. Shine shared that she went through a a tough time because of one person all the way back in 2012, and her fans applauded her for finally sharing the truth about the person who hurt her. This time as well, Cube Entertainment denied any allegations. Then Su Jin came forward with her statement. She admitted to smoking a couple of times in the past, but clarified that it's been a long time since she had her last cigarette. Su Jin also shared that she once considered herself to be friends with A, as she once had a meal at her house or went to the movies with A and her older sister. A's older sister actually helped Su Jin when she was being threatened over text and having a hard time in general. At the end of her statement, Su Jin shared her thoughts on why A would say such horrible things about her. Su Jin offered an explanation. From what I remember, I had a fight with the girl because she broke a promise. It wasn't her first time, so I remember getting mad at her for it. I'm embarrassed about it, but I remember cursing at her over the phone. Since then, the girl and I really drifted apart and never really made up. Su Jin once again clarified that she never got physical with anyone, as well as disputing Shine's claims that she was mean to her in the past. That wasn't the end of it all. The situation got worse and worse with each day, and Soyeon was actually involved at one point as well. The alleged victim of Soyeon's misbehavior was supposedly her former classmate. According to them, Soyeon used to torment them so badly that they once considered transferring to a different school and even begged their parents to send them to a school in a different country. The person claimed that she had evidence until she had to switch her phones and wished Soyeon all the best in her career since she believes Soyeon's karma will get her. Sujin was still the person everyone was talking about though. A little bit of hope came on February 25th, when one of Su Jin's former classmates came forward to debunk Shine's allegations against Su Jin. The former classmate shared something that shocked a lot of people. Supposedly, it was Su Jin who wasn't treated nicely, and that Su Jin and Shine never crossed paths. The former classmate explained that after Su Jin stopped hanging out with her previous group of friends, the two became quite close. Because of that, Su Jin was constantly mocked by her former friends, and the former classmate clarified that they would side-eye Su Jin each time they saw her, even going as far as telling other people not to hang out with her. The former classmate also confirmed what Su Jin wrote in her statement, that Su Jin never hurt Shine in any way, and that their classrooms were on different floors, so they hardly saw each other anyway. Cube Entertainment announced Su Jin will halt all of her activities on March 4th, and at this point, the group's fans were seriously heartbroken. The agency actually came under fire on March 9th when they posted a tweet dedicated to Su Jin's birthday. While their fans appreciated it, many netizens voiced their criticism. The replies under the tweet were full of comments such as, they are out of their minds and I apologize to the rest of the members, but I don't really want to consume anything from Cube anymore. A couple days later, fans saw another glimpse of light when Sujin's alleged aunt came to Sujin's defense. Her aunt claimed that Sujin was the target of her malicious classmates, adding that some individuals who accused Sujin weren't even real. The aunt wrote, Another accuser made nine accounts, pretending to be nine different people, and kept sharing posts that accused Sujin. Only when the internet started questioning some of the posts, that person tried to make excuses for a bit before completely disappearing. Shine also released another lengthy post where she fired back at Sujin yet again and shared what happened with more details. The timing of the scandal was something straight out of a nightmare. Idol had a special song for the fan platform Universe scheduled to be released in April of 2021. Because of what went down with Sujin, the group had to completely re-record the whole song and even refilm the music video. For a few months, Sujin was on a hiatus and the group was promoting with five members. Then, in August of 2022, Idol's fans had to go through the worst thing that could 
possibly happen to a fan. Sujin officially withdrew from the group. Even though Sujin denied the claims and expressed she didn't remember the incidents happening, this seemed like the best decision to make. The agency statement read, We would like to inform you that it was decided Seo Sujin will withdraw from the group effective today. This angered a lot of fans because there was no finished verdict in Sujin's scandal and no one knew if she was even guilty or not. Those angered fans then took out their frustration in the comments section on Shine's YouTube channel, pointing their fingers at her and blaming her for Sujin's departure from the group. A few days after Sujin's departure, a petition for Sujin's justice was made. The main problem Sujin's fans had was the fact that she wasn't allowed to give an official statement. The last time Sujin spoke up about it was on her Instagram, and then it was basically six months of radio silence after that. In just three days, the petition gained over 160,000 signatures. It was one of the top signed petitions on the website at the time, and it said a lot about the impact Sujin's departure had. A lot of people wish this could have ended differently as well, as they believe Sujin seriously deserved better treatment from her agency. While no one knows if Sujin will ever return back to the industry, it's incredible to see the rest of the girls absolutely thriving, even if their careers were once almost gone. It seemed that after what happened, the girls came back stronger than ever. Earlier this year, when the group made their comeback with Tomboy, the girls actually became the first group to achieve perfect all kill in 2022 with that song. This can only be achieved if a song ends up number one on the daily and 24 hour charts on Melon, daily and real time charts on Genie, Bugs, Flow, and iChart. In their most recent comeback with Nude, Soyeon successfully clapped back at her haters. In the music video, there's a scene where Soyeon is on a live broadcast and there are live comments appearing on the side. Their fans didn't miss the comments, saying stuff like, music for dumb people, or Soyeon can't rap. Soyeon showed everyone what she thinks about those comments by metaphorically stripping herself to show her authentic self. Overall, the comeback has been extremely successful, both the title track and the mini album called I Love. Quickly after its release, both the album and the song ended up at the top of the music charts in Korea and abroad. By October 19th, according to the agency, I Love ended up as number one on iTunes top albums charts in at least 40 different countries across the world, including France, New Zealand, Singapore, or Denmark. By 11 p.m. of the same day, Nude was still number one on multiple domestic music charts such as Melon, Genie, Bugs, and Flow. Even before I Love was released, it was already breaking records. On October 11th, it was announced that the mini album surpassed 700,000 stock pre-orders, which is the highest number of the group's stock pre-orders so far. Stock pre-orders means the amount of albums that is produced prior to the album's release, and the number was set to increase once the album was actually released. Not only their fans, but netizens as well are happy to see the group thriving after having such a tough year in 2021. Most fans also wish Sujin could have been there with them, but at least it seems like Sujin was referenced in Nude. Since Nude pays tribute to Marilyn Monroe, many fans thought that it was actually for Sujin since Marilyn used to be Sujin's huge role model. The animated blonde woman in the music video could be Sujin according to fan speculations. Even if this was intentional or not, it's obvious the fans and her members miss her a lot, and honestly, Sujin deserved to be a part of these successful comebacks as well. We're curious to hear your thoughts, so leave them down below. Thank you for watching. Bye!